Hi, welcome back to Buona Papa. Today we are going to cook for our little ones and we are going to prepare together a wonderful buckwheat flour, zucchini and a pear baby puree. A very delicate baby puree that can be given to your little ones starting from the very beginning, six, seven months. And we're going to use buckwheat flour that surprisingly is not a cereal and it's not wheat, but it's a natural fruit seed that it's gluten-free. That is why it's very appropriate for the very first baby puree that you would like to prepare to your little one. Also buckwheat, it's very high in fiber and is a very good source of iron, niacin, folate and vitamin K. That's why it's super recommended for our little ones. And if you do not find buckwheat flour at the grocery store, it's super easy to make it at home and it's even healthier. Check this video how to prepare homemade buckwheat flour. Let's start together with our puree. I will start cutting my zucchini in small pieces, slicing my pear and cutting the pear pulp in tiny pieces too. I'm going to place all the pieces in a steamer and I'm going to steam my zucchini and my pear for six minutes. In a small saucepan, I'm going to add half a cup of the steaming water of the zucchini and the pears. And I'm also going to add one tablespoon of buckwheat flour. Turn the heat on at low and stir the flour into the liquid. You will see that in very few minutes, you will have a nice and thick cream. It will take you five minutes max. It's time to add our steamed zucchini and our steamed pear the ricotta cheese, and with an immersion blender, create a nice and smooth puree. Our baby puree is basically ready. Final touch, I'm going to add one teaspoon of extra virgin olive oil. I'm going to stir everything and I'm going to serve my baby food to my little one. This baby food can be stored in the refrigerator for up to three days or can be freezed in the freezer for up to three months. I really hope your little ones are going to enjoy this delicate and healthy baby food. And we are going to see each other next week with another recipe from one of Papa and as always, buona papa a tutti. Ciao!